First, though, the governor says he's cutting through red tape to help the state's bogged down unemployment system. This is News 6 at 11. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Just hours ago, Governor Ron DeSantis issued a new executive order to make it easier for people to apply for unemployment benefits. Let's get right to News 6's Eric Sandoval, who is live with the details. Eric. Yeah, Lisa and Matt, the issue the governor resolved today was the issue of having to apply for unemployment insurance every two weeks. He said people who were reapplying were simply overloading an already overloaded system. We also found out that of all the people who have applied, only a fraction have gotten paid. Facing weeks of problems with the state's unemployment website, Governor Ron DeSantis says he is still working to get Floridians help. Ultimately, we need to get people paid. Over the last three weeks, the governor and the Department of Economic Opportunity have added computer servers, staff, and paper applications to help streamline the process to apply for unemployment benefits. But some people complain they still can't get through. While we've made uh, some progress in the recent days, it's not nearly enough. We have an unprecedented amount of claims and we've got to work through them. According to the DEO, they've received nearly 648,000 initial applications for unemployment benefits since March 15th. As of today, their numbers show they've only paid 33,000 people, or 5%. Jonathan Satter, who was named to oversee the state's unemployment payment system on Wednesday, says he's trying to fix it. He says he's upgrading the banking software now so that they can cut four times the number of checks each day. But he says the system is like an old car trying to carry a lot of people. The governor has given us authority to rally all state resources. We have thousands of state employees uh, assisting in the effort.